Is there support for the, uh, the, the proposed amendment? Discussion? On the amendment. Okay. I don't, you can, you, you can't speak rather. Yes, I believe the, the rules provide that I speak first actually. In Roberts and the rules and. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry brother, go ahead. Okay, thank you. I propose tomorrow to give the leadership time to prepare this session. The key to these negotiations is not whether we have a nice wish list of bargaining demands, but how we are going to fight the companies. The companies have made it clear that they are not our partners and are going to take everything they can get from us with whatever means they have at their disposal. How are we going to take on Whipsaw? How are we going to take on this cancer of two tier, this cancer of pitting uh, workers, younger workers against older workers? I would point out that I find nothing in this resolution on these subjects. I find nothing against two tier, and indeed, in page 34, we even have justification for it. We cannot afford to be unclear on this question, which rots the foundation of unionism. Even before official bargaining starts, we're already seeing the company tearing up our union. We're, they're forcing agreements, concessionary agreements, and local after local. We're letting local unions stand by themselves and try to fight giant multinational corporations. We can't afford it. Now look, there's going to be a number of delegates who will get up and read the administration cue cards about how this rules have always worked for us and the like. Recognize, this union is in crisis. It's not working now. We have to start doing things differently. We have to take on the company's ideological attack. We have to begin now by addressing the fact that our membership is not involved and we have to re-involve it. We have to talk about how we can mobilize them rather than worrying about having nicely scripted conventions. This group represents the leaders of the UAW. We have to start acting like leaders and we have to start, therefore, addressing the real problems. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Is there any other discussion? Okay, on, yes, go to mic four, please. My name is Paul Baxter. I'm from the Flint Metal Center, Local 659. I want to speak in agreement with what he said. Um, we had a, a strategy, if you want to call it, for the last couple of decades called cooperation. But the problem with it is we're, we're behaving like the leaders in our corporations are men of honor and integrity, and they're nothing but professional liars, sneaks, and thieves. They don't honor a contract. And once the contract is written, good. They don't want to be bargain. And, what, and uh, I agree with him that, I, first of all, I want to say that having worked on committees before, People that worked on this committee have, have done a lot of work and it's hard work. But unless we have an effective strategy to implement our demands, we, it's nothing more than a wish list. Thank you. Thank you Is there anyone who'd like to speak against the amendment? Here. Against the amendment? I don't. My 10? Let me again. UAW Local 7 delegate. I was sitting there and I was kind of understanding what was it that the brother was asking for. I, I don't have any cue cards, but I remember that we put the decisions in these honorable bodies' hands when we were in Las Vegas and that. Uh, we gave them that right to bring upon the rules that we would be governed by. Now, what it has to do with all that that I heard, I don't know. I don't have any cue cards from anybody that's up there. But if it ain't broken, I don't see why the hell we should fix it. All right? This is not my first convention. 
I've been to many, and we've had these similar rules. I, I didn't quite get it when we had to talk about uh, the other part of the convention at this point when we're talking about just how the rules are going to work as far as one speaking and, 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 and sister uh, financial um, secretary, uh, I'm for the, the previous motion. Right, so let's be just clear procedurally again. There is an amendment on the floor that has been seconded um, and that amendment would be, uh, is opposed by the Rules Committee. So uh, if we're ready for the vote, the, and the amendment as I understand it, uh, and correct me if the maker of the motion uh, disagrees, but my understanding of the motion, of the amendment to the rules, uh, would be to change the rules as discussed uh, by the Rules Committee uh, to change the agenda for Wednesday morning to have a discussion on um, fighting back. Uh, state your point. And I've got the actual language here when after your point. Okay, let me just read it while you're walking to the, to the mic. Uh, amendment to the Rules Committee report. The agenda for the Wednesday morning session will be, quote, organizing to fight back. Close quote. The session will cover how we can mobilize our members, build solidarity, resist company whipsawing and divisive strategies like two-tier and pitting older workers against younger. To make time for this session, short presentation summaries will be used instead of reading the resolution book and guest speakers will be asked to keep their comments brief. That's the, uh, that's the amendment that's under discussion. State your point. Wendy Thompson, Local 235. I'd like to appeal to the body for more discussion on this question. How can we go away from this convention and say the situation we're facing is not broken? What I mean is, you're, you're, you have to. That's not an appropriate point of order. You're out of order. Sit down, please. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to have a vote. Are we ready for a vote on the amendment? And again, the amendment is to change the agenda on Wednesday, and it is uh, would conflict with the the report of the rules committee as already outlined on the amendment. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. The nays have it, and the amendment fails. On the motion to accept the Rules Committee report, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Say nay. Uh, and the ayes have it. The Rules Committee report is adopted. We very much appreciate the rules, uh, the work of the Rules Committee, and thank each and every one of you for a job well done. Thank you. It is now my very deep honor and privilege to introduce to you a man who humbly describes himself only as a chassis line repairman, but we know him as our friend, our brother, and our president, Ron Gelfender. Give a little, we take a little, we compromise and we cooperate. Exactly. There's no doubt about it. We're both profiting by working together. Right, John? Right. Whoa, 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 whoa.